All the wonders you seek are within yourself. Think it more satisfactory to live richly than die rich. Think before you act. Think twice before you speak. All things began in order, so shall they end, and so shall they begin again, according to the ordainer of order, and the mystical mathematics of the city of heaven. We carry within us the wonders we seek without us. To ruminate upon evils, to make critical notes upon injuries, and be too acute in their apprehensions, is to add unto our own tortures, to feather the arrows of our enemies, to lash ourselves with the scorpions of our foes, and to resolve to sleep no more. Be able to be alone. Lose not the advantage of solitude. The created world is but a small parenthesis in eternity. There is something in us that can be without us, and will be after us, though indeed it hath no history of what it was before us, and cannot tell how it entered into us. I am the happiest man alive. I have that in me that can convert poverty to riches, adversity to prosperity, and I am more invulnerable than archills. Fortune hath not one place to hit me. Rough diamonds may sometimes be mistaken for worthless pebbles. The vices we scoff at in others laugh at us within ourselves. Forcible ways make not an end of evil, but leave hatred and malice behind them. Affection should not be too sharp-eyed, and love is not made by magnifying glasses. Light that makes things seen, makes some things invisible. No man can justly censure or condemn another, because indeed no man truly knows another. Age doth not rectify, but incurvate our natures, turning bad dispositions into worser habits. Think not thy time short in this world, since the world itself is not long. The created world is but a small parenthesis in eternity, and a short interposition, for a time, between such a state of duration as was before it and may be after it. The severe schools shall never laugh me out of the philosophy of Hermes, that this visible world is but a picture of the invisible, wherein as in a portrait, things are not truly, but in equivocal shapes 
and as they counterfeit some real substance in that invisible fabric. Be deaf unto the suggestions of tale-bearers, calumniators, pig thank or malevolent detractors, who, while quiet men sleep, sowing the tears of discord and division, distract the tranquility of charity and all friendly society. These are the tongues that set the world on fire cankerers of reputation, and, like that of Jonas Gord, wither a good name in a single night. The vices we scoff at in others laugh at us within ourselves.